What's up, guys? Fargo Killer. It's a nice spring day. I'm out here on the porch and uh, decided I would uh, do a little video on the sterno option. Everybody's familiar with it. Everybody's probably got it. Um, back before I discovered uh, how efficient the alcohol stove was, this was my go-to. And this right here, as a matter of fact, is the first camp stove I ever made, besides piling up rocks around the fire. Um, and I carried this thing for a few years, and it served me well with the sterno option. And this is a uh, diced tomato can. You see I got it set up, holes on the bottom, holes on the top, and a little burner pattern, like a uh, hobo stove. The great thing about it is it just holds two cans of Sterno. Up to two and a half hours burn time for each one. So I got five hours of cooking time right there. And that's more than I would ever need for a weekend uh, camping or backpacking trip, uh, fishing trip, hunting trip, something like that. And uh, this fits in pretty good. I usually shove some paper towels down in here beside it to keep it from rattling. And uh, it's not that heavy. I mean, it's it's crazy heavy compared to my alcohol setup. But anyway, thought I'd share that with you. First camp stove I ever made. Probably made this thing in 1992, 93. We went on a trip, uh, backpacking trip on the Chattooga River. And uh, off trail bushwhack ended up being a hell of an experience. But I took this little stove with me and a couple cans of Sterno, and I've had it ever since. Um, so basically, the great thing about this is, is it serves as its own windscreen. Um, and then you put your can of soup or whatever on top of it, and uh, heats pretty well. The uh, the only thing about using something like this and the Sterno stove that comes with you know that you can buy for Sterno is a lot of the heat energy that comes out of the Sterno can is spent in heating this piece of metal. Same thing with the uh, with the Sterno stove. It acts like a heat sink. It it you use a lot of your heat energy to heat this up. Um, so uh, this is great. It works. It's a nice convenient package, but it's just not as efficient as it can be. And efficiency is huge when you're using Sterno because it's not very efficient, in my opinion. Um, you got dust on it. These are. These have probably been in my gear closet five years, guys. And I'm gonna open one up and see if it's see if it's any good. Um see I can't find any dates on that at all, but I guarantee you that these can I got five or six cans in my gear closet that are probably easily five years old. So let's see if this is any good anymore. Good as new. Just like the day I bought it. So, it's great. And uh, this is really for my buddy Trail Rat, South Carolina. He uses it. And, uh, you know, the great thing about it is when this is empty, you can fill it up with alcohol. Um, you can burn it halfway down and fill it back up with alcohol and it'll regel. Um, you can make char cloth in this. You could use this as a cook pot if you had to. Um, in a, in a survival situation if you had it in your pack uh, and you ran out of fuel you could use this over a fire to boil water in just fine but anyway so here's one option other option I wanted to show you was uh, just this little wire pot stand this is made out of a uh, clothes hanger and it has a center section flat section of a beer can just crimped around it um, of course I crimped it with my Leatherman and uh, this is my pot stand for my uh, my uh, fondue cooker, and uh, the great thing about this is uh, it doesn't use up a lot of your heat energy, um, and you can set your pot, you know, your your cook pot or your uh, or your can of soup if you like to carry a can of soup. And I, you know, I used to do that all the time. My backpacking meals used to be two cans of beef uh, uh, beef stew, chunky beef stew, and then, you know, I'd carry some potatoes and onions wrapped in tin foil and a steak, and that's what I ate all weekend when I was out there backpacking, a couple packs of ramen noodles. 
Um, and you know, this thing will cook ramen noodles just fine. It takes forever, but you can put ramen noodles in a pot of water just like this, light the little stove up, and it'll cook them. It'll cook them. It'll take, you know, it takes 20 minutes, but it'll cook them uh, just fine. It'll heat up a can of soup like this in no time, so it has its place. Um, the one thing, oh, and here's another little pot stand option for you. So you got this, this one, clothes hangers, beer can crimped around it. You got your tomato can, hobo stove style. Everything fits inside of it. And then you got this little wire cloth, little uh, half inch hardware cloth pot stand. And it's, uh, you know, Dave Canterbury showed this and so has Nick and Sean from uh, Whitetail Bushcraft Outfitters. Now they don't have wire, they have extruded metal, heavy, heavy gauge stuff that has a lot more options than this. But if you want something that's lightweight, you know, this fits around the can, you secure it with a rubber band um, on the can and uh, it pulls off of there and just sets right on top and then your pot of water can just set right on top of that and it weighs nothing um, and uh, doesn't take any heat away from your flame your flame no energy for your flame almost uh, is used to heat this metal it's so thin and so light um, and it's rugged enough um, I mean it's rugged I'm, I'm probably putting 30 40 pounds of for force on that right now Matter of fact, I just caved in my damn thing I'm sitting on. I was pushing on it so hard. Um, but uh, anyway, that's another viable option um, is a little wire cloth pot stand. And, uh, you know, the, this, this stuff, this material costs anything, nothing. It's easy to work with. You can cut it with a pair of scissors um, and uh, doesn't add any weight to your setup in your pack. So that's just another little option. One thing you will have to have if you're going to carry uh, sterno is a good windscreen and uh, you know I, I'm, I'm a big advocate of the windscreen I, I don't I don't ever cook without one um, especially not in cold weather but this is just a piece of aluminum roof flashing um, it's old windscreen to an old alcohol stove I made years ago um, it's big enough to accommodate a variety of pots sizes um, and shapes and you know with that windscreen around there like that you're going to get a lot more efficiency out of this stove now this this setup here kind of acts as its own windscreen um, I've never had the stove the sterno can blow out uh, even in strong winds um, but uh, so you know if you got a windscreen if you got a decent windscreen and a lightweight pot stand um, with the sterno, with the sterno can, uh, and I keep this pot stand rolled up in a uh, in a toilet paper roll. It works great, keeps it together, doesn't add a lot of weight to your pack. Now you could also make one of these out of tin foil, just fine. Double or triple folded tin foil, um, long enough to fit around the circumference of your pot, high enough to block the flame. You know you want it to be right to the bottom of your pot there. Um, and uh, and it'll work great too. The only thing about the tinfoil ones is they blow around in the wind a lot. If it's a strong wind, they're going to be rocking and tipping and all that stuff. This one's heavy enough where it's going to set right here, uh, pretty much no matter what. Especially when you got your pot around it like that. So anyway, um, for the sterno option for you guys out there that like to use sterno, um, it's great, man. I used it for years. Um, it's just it's a slow boiler. Um, you know, this it burns up to two and a quarter hours. This can, this size can does. This is a seven ounce can. It burns up to two and a quarter hours. Probably not gonna get two and a quarter hours out of it, but you might get two hours out of it. Um, but you know, in those two hours, um, probably only gonna cook four or five times. And for the weight um, and the cost, um, it's just better for me. It just, it just works out better for me for to use, you know, an alcohol stove um, where I can boil water in five minutes. Um, but anyway, there's some pot stand options for a sterno can. And Trail Rat, South Carolina, I know you're playing around with yours right now, so you might want to try some of these. And uh, they work really easy, and they're really lightweight. And as long as you have a windscreen, buddy. You can cook with this thing all day long, just like that. 
with the windscreen. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.